the diagnosis of lupus is made by a, co a constellation uh, of symptoms consistent with lupus, physical findings consistent with lupus, and then blood tests. So it's really the triad uh, of those uh, that makes the diagnosis. And when it's found, uh, what, what kind of treatments are available? Uh, so it all varies. It varies by the particular case uh, and by the severity and by the type of involvement. Uh, so lupus uh, can be mild. It can be a mild disease. Uh, it can be uh, just uh, nuisance rashes that come out in the sunshine and the person has uh, essentially a normal life except they have to uh, have sun avoidance and wear sunblock uh, and perhaps take a medication to help prevent uh, their skin, the skin involvement from their lupus. Other people uh, have more moderate disease and have to take stronger medicine because of their arthritis or their blood disorders. Uh, and other people have very severe disease that can be organ threatening or even life threatening. And these people can take medications so strong that it's even chemotherapy medication like you would give a cancer patient. So it really varies all the way from a disease which is very manageable certainly does not impact life expectancy, but involves some lifestyle changes and perhaps mild medication, all the way to a you know, real catastrophe that needs aggressive medical management to, to protect your health and preserve your life. You mentioned in some cases it can become serious to the point of being fatal. What typically goes wrong in, in, in these cases? Uh, well, the most common serious involvement I mentioned was the kidney involvement, uh, but it can also have various types of brain involvement, and that can be uh, quite serious too. You can have strokes, you can have seizures, you can have what's called cerebritis, which is kind of like a coma or altered consciousness. You know, these types of things can obviously can be serious, the so spinal cord involvement. Um, occasionally the heart can be evolved, involved causing heart failure or problems with heart valves. That can be very serious. Uh, occasionally the blood disorders can be really dramatic and life-threatening where your uh, platelets, which are blood cells that uh, allow your blood to clot, can go dangerously low, putting you at risk for a hemorrhage. Uh, or uh, you have attack that affects the red cells, causing the red cells to rupture, causing very severe anemias. It's called hemolytic anemia. Uh, so those are the kind of the high drama sort of manifestations that can be acutely or chronically uh, put your, your life at risk. Uh, so. And the treatments are predominantly managing the disease, correct? Not curing mm -hmm. the disease. We don't have a cure for lupus at this point. We have a lot of medications that, that help control lupus. And the most prevalently used medication for lupus that almost every lupus patient should be on is called hydroxychloroquine, uh, known as Plaquenil. It's a relatively mild and well-tolerated medicine. So even the, the patients with just rashes and, and mild disease uh, will be on the hydroxychloroquine. It's been shown to improve uh, uh, improve survival, decrease damage, decrease flares, uh, flares of lupus by 50%. Uh, it's a very well tolerated drug, so almost everyone's on that. Uh, after that, many patients with lupus end up having to be on some dose of steroid or prednisone, uh, which based on how much prednisone they take can have a lot of side effects. Uh, so those are probably the most commonly used drugs. Uh, then as you step up in severity, then you have to step up on more into more strong immunosuppressive drugs.